Provide land for grazing to reduce farmers' herders' clashes, Tinubu tells state governors. Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. He also asked the governors to pay wage awards to workers to relieve the substantial population of hunger and hardship. President Bola Tinubu has urged the state governors to provide grazing land for pastoralists. Tinubu said the provision of grazing land for herders would end the violent clashes between farmers and herders and the loss of lives and farm produce. He also asked the governors to pay wage awards to workers to relieve the substantial population of hunger and hardship. The president spoke at the flag off of the Agricultural Mechanization Revolution for Food Security in commissioning of the remodeled domestic terminal of the Bola Tinubu International Airport in Minna, Niger State. He said, You must care for our people, and reorientate our farming population including the livestock program. I don't see why Nigeria cannot feed all the pupils in our schools with one pint of milk daily if our dairy system is well harnessed. I know what it means as an economic sabotage for roaming cows to eat up the crops and vegetation of our lands, it could be painful but when we reorientate the herders and make provision for cattle rearing, the problems will be solved. The governors should provide the lands and I, as the president, am committed to giving you a comprehensive program that will solve this problem towards banishing hunger from the land. The president also said the student loan scheme, social security program for the elderly and the vulnerable, and other interventions would commence soon as part of efforts by the federal government to relieve Nigerians of hunger. President Tinubu said the federal government would partner with states to end hunger and hardship, adding that the state governments had the task to do the jobs and work the talks. We have seen the level of commitment here, from the state level. We have seen leadership. The success story of any leader will depend on their ability to do what they ought to do at the time it ought to be done, he said. Earlier, the Niger state governor, Mohamed Amara Bago, said agriculture remains one of the key steps his administration has taken to address the challenges in critical sectors of the economy and engender prosperity for the people of the state and the country. He said bandits would not have the power to control any part of the state with the state's determination to ensure that all the ungoverned spaces are cultivated. He said his administration had embarked on the rehabilitation and construction of major roads across the state to ease the movement of agricultural produce to markets. Thank you so much for watching that video. I told so many of you from the beginning that Tinibu has come to finish the wish of Buhari. I don't know what makes Tinibu think that Hebrews are ready to hand over their land to terrorists. He and Buhari government recruited all the way from Libya, Niger, down to Nigeria in the name of Hedas. I don't know why he believed that. As far as we are concerned, our Fulanis are now, so many of them are now terrorists. I will never allow our land to be handed over to them in the name of ranching. Just like Hebrews are doing businesses in the north, the northerners are doing businesses also in the east, but will not have anything to do with people who are busy killing farmers. And some useless president that calls himself Hebrew Latinibu came out and said that it is farmers and headers clashes. Who is clashing who and who is killing who? This should be the question. Farmers have suffered in the hands of these criminals from pits of hell. Last time if I told you that they are businessmen going around their business, that was why they were not arrested by Nigerian government. And the question is, why is Nigerian soldier military always protect these people? Any single comment made against them you will see Nigerian soldiers making noise. There is no doubt that Nigerian soldiers are not terrorists. And Tinibu, his vice, whom everybody knows was a terrorist, Shetima, can never force Hebrews to give their land in the name of grazing to terrorize their people. We can't allow that. If you look at everything, you will find out that since Tribu took over as a president, though dubiously, 
brought in as your president he has done nothing but bring poverty hunger to nigerians do you know why they did that i told you in some of my video that this is what he's coming to do they did that because they want to grab your land there they do that they did that because they want to grab your land in eastern region that is the plan that is the plan he planned with shitima this was the agreement made by him in collaboration with british government and the buhari government i have to use this opportunity to warn every Igbo governor we don't care what you are doing in Igbo land we don't care the investment you are bringing to Igbo land we don't want to see any useless ruga or ranching in Igbo land do not say we do not hear you if not that land will be so hot to the state can't contain you you have continued especially in Igbo state to use military to kill our brothers who are in the forest protecting our land from hands of terrorists like Flani, Hensman in Nigeria. You think we don't know about it? We know your game you are playing. We have kept quiet for so long. But what we are telling you is that most of them ma, with that ten they are in a bony government house who dances like Flani that causes every woman. I will also forget to warn people like Soludo and the useless Mba of Enugu State who started this whole nonsense from the first beginning. Our land should not be given to anybody in the name of ranching. If any flan wants to do business in our land, let him come to our land, rent a store, and start a business like every other person. That's what Yoruba does. That's what Igbo does. Why should this be different? We don't want anything like a ranch in our land. Who are we going to give the land to? Is it the foreign flani you brought to our land? Or your Nigerian flani who has turned to terrorists overnight? <laughs> Nigerian soldier, you guys are really bad mother you can't chew. You go around killing us and that baby members. Killing Eastern Security who are protecting their own land, their own indigenous land. Is this why you're killing them? To bring in terrorists to take over our land? <laughs> who no go no no? You guys think uh, you know everything. But believe me, there are so many things you don't know. We will not allow anybody to take our land, to traverse our land in name of grazing. You have to first of all trust those you want to do something with before giving them land. And we, the Igbo, said we don't trust them. And for this reason, none of our land should be given to them. Every Igbo man indiv individually is doing his business and not pay his rent, pay his business center. Government are not the ones giving them the businesses. Why should government always interrupt when it comes to grazing? If Tinibu believe that uh, grazing is what will feed him for the hardship he brought to Nigerians, let him open that grazing in land and the northern part of the country, not in Igbo land. He's a toy in the hands of British and Fulani. And for this reason, we will not allow Tinibu. Let him be careful. Yoruba should won't advise him. This rain he's drawing, when he would start falling, believe me, even his own children, we hear the sound. I think I've come to the end of this news. I don't mean to bully anybody. What I'm saying here is the fact. It's not a threat, but it's a promise. Keep it in the canon in custody. And you believe because of that, he can flanize land. You are wasting your time. Enough. A word is enough for a wise. Thank you so much for watching. Do not get it twisted. What I just said here is a promise, not a threat.